of reserve units while they complete their officer training. Today we're going to orient you to the facilities that we use on la fin de fond, where soldiers are tested both mentally and physically, où on les teste mentalement et physiquement, before participating in a soldier ceremony called the called sorry, called turning green. I'm not going to, okay. So I'll put myself here. That's perfect. Donc, je vais me mettre ici pour les francophones qui veulent écouter et qui n'ont pas uh, encore reçu de dispositif. Okay. As a CTA, I am the Alpha Company First Sergeant. In our CTA, we have enough room to conduct uh, weapons familiarization, marksmanship, medical training, land navigation, and physical fitness. Uh, laid out in front of you is the equipment that each soldier receives when they get here. Un de, euh, de très important document qu'on a ici, c'est ce fichier avec tout ces informations. Uh, this is so that we can uh, help achieve that uniformity and try and strip that uh, individuality away uh, so that we can build a more cohesive team. And well trained and certified instructors. Et des instructeurs qui sont bien trainés et certifiés. Is what allows our soldiers to be successful. They would come in with additional yeah. rank on their chest. Et il y a plusieurs régions où, uh, qui signifient right. pour Health and fitness training program. For the physical fitness side of the house, it is a very progressive model for running. There are five domains to the U.S. Army's holistic health and fitness approach. <laughs> On veut que les soldats s'amusent. What you heard Command Sergeant Major Salinas speak about was that transformational leadership process. Malgré que uh, notre sergeant. Although we've had a medical clinic that was centralized for all battalions to use, malgré on a des cliniques médicales qui sont centralisées pour tous les bataillons pour utiliser, it could take a very long time for a soldier to seek medical treatment there. Il peut prendre un, uh, pas mal du temps pour un soldat pour avoir un traitement médical là-bas. So, as part of our holistic health and fitness approach, we have addressed the medical aspect by building this troop clinic to allow for the triage of illness in our footprint. Notre but c'est réduire le temps d'absentia de l'entraînement. Oui, approchez-vous. 
Drill Sergeant Ralph has exceeded at every training task. Currently, there are eight warrior restaurants on Sand Hill and they have four sides. Allez, dehors. And trains those soldiers. For physical readiness, we have that deliberate 22 week approach that is now standardized across all 10 training. Thank you. And thank you for the explanation. Yes, thank sir. you so yes, much. Sir. You're good. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. It's uh, green. Yes, sir. Green and red and yellow. You do. All red. When soldiers arrive here for their 22 weeks of training, we have an instinct. We have a civilian, and we've kind of looked at what our current civilian population is, very digitally oriented, not quite as physically oriented, and we have to turn them into capable infantry soldiers. To do that, we have some amazing non-commissioned officers that facilitate 22 weeks of infantry one station unit training. They start out with the same drill sergeants they graduate with six months later. Other jobs in the Army will only have their drill sergeants for the first 10 weeks, which is the same as our first 10 weeks, but then they will move on to a technical training for their specific job skill. Our focus here is to help an individual better understand themselves, their capabilities and limits limitations, the group dynamics, building a team, the culture of our army, how we treat one another, and then the technical and tactical skills they need to know not just to be a soldier, but to be an infantry soldier. Another unique